Ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran, and today we are checking out some awesome footage from Ukrainian Special Forces Helmet Cam. This is purportedly them operating deep in enemy territory, taking out some high-value targets. Don't worry, YouTube censors. I've checked. You don't see any people. Let's get into it. As always, guys, if you want to see the uncensored combat footage breakdowns, that's on the Patreon. Link is in the description. Okay, let's get into it. So first off, we have, a, this is a, well, it is an ambush according to War Leaks, who seems to be pretty good about tagging things correctly, right? They are less likely than, say, the Sun to tell me that, you know, call any any Ukrainian with a, a proper fitting helmet special forces. Um, but these guys actually do look like their special forces team teams uh, you can see they've got the full rail they've got eoscopes they've got this charging handle tells me that it's an ak platform it could be their um their uh like custom model the bullpup uh whose name escapes me now something with a v okay so here's what i want to point out this is actually a textbook ambush here's what i mean first off you have your ambushing element right you notice these guys are arrayed and facing the same direction all right what you probably aren't seeing is that the rest of the team is spaced out in this way at about the same interval uh, to the left and right with two exceptions. There will be two soldiers who are pulling security off to the side. They've started, they've initiated the ambush with a high volume of fire. This is exactly how this should go. Uh, you want to, you don't want to give the enemy time to react. So you actually start your ambush with your most casualty producing weapon, but these guys are all equipped with small arms. So that answer is just pump them full, go full auto, and put rounds onto your target. You can see it looks like the enemy has tried to flee the, the, the kill zone. The kill zone is a doctrinal term, YouTube sensors, for the area in an ambush that you want your enemy to be. It's like, it's like when the enemy wanders into your sights in an ambush that's referred to as, uh, well, let's say the K zone. Maybe that won't get me demonetized. Okay, so now what's happening is now that they've taken out the target, right? You can see there's there's the other troops there. Sounds like it's possible that the we'll back this up a little bit. Okay, so it sounds like it's possible that this is actually an assault element. There may be a support by fire element. Um, but I, I sort of suspect that that no, the machine gun is probably what you're hearing. That is probably what initiated the ambush. If that isn't just a full auto, uh, a full auto burst from you know a, a, a individual weapon, but they are now that they've you know taken out their target. They're pushing across the kill zone, and they are going to first off verify that the targets. Uh, I'm trying to think of this of the non-demonetized way to say this uh, to verify that all threats have been eliminated um, and to engage in any level of exploitation they need to do at the target. So that would be, for example, um, taking pictures, uh, looking for maps or other intelligence, um, verifying uh, unit markings on vehicles. OK, so this reports that is it is near severe donetsk and is firmly within russian held territory uh this yeah so there's severe donetsk and so this is probably uh yeah yeah this is here's severe donetsk so this is still in that front um and yeah this is still under russian control this has not been flipped in the last uh two weeks okay so you can see they are now assaulting their objective right there online. Why are they getting online like this? This is to make sure that they don't give the enemy an opportunity. Let's say, again, you have to think ambush, ambush doctrine is the same, more or less, whether it's a vehicle or it's individuals or a mix. And so you're gonna get on this line and you're gonna sweep the target to verify that indeed all threats have been eliminated because you don't want a threat lying down in the grass or pretending uh, to, to be uh, um, unalived when they really aren't, right? You don't want them to pop up uh, behind you because the thing that makes an ambush an ambush is that 90% of your combat power is facing one direction. We're gonna see in a second 
how they maintain their security, right? But you can see there are assault forces on the objective and they are they are continuing to put rounds into it. Okay, watch, watch. See, he's reminding this guy. He says, hey, hey, you need to be security. Right, see how he turns around? He's now pulling security down the road. So now you have the assault element and you have them focusing on the objective and they can do so because they have someone s securing the other side watching their backs and there's probably another member of the team out in this wood line looking down the other direction of the road it's also possible that the commander himself is providing overwatch and security down the road Put it out. Oh, there you go you saw him briefly da, 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 da. there he is see He's looking down the road here. Yep. That's it. They're kind of in each other's fields of fire, but but this is the thing to always remember, guys, is that you have doctrine, right? And that is like the idealized exercise. And then there's reality. And reality is just, it's just a mess. It's just a lot messier. And so you, you reality, you have to take the principles, like secure, yourself right put as much combat power forward as possible but keep security on all sides uh and you have to apply that principle to the reality that you're in right they may not this vehicle probably was passed through the ambush zone was eliminated lost control and crashed over here which means that of course the assault elements got to go past his security element but that's okay you just reposition the security element and you fight on this is the sort of tactical flexibility that experienced units get over time. Put it out. All right, so you see they Switch are... Out. Okay, see he's repositioning the security. Right, you probably Switch see him. Rally at quad. Yeah, these guys are good. And they're good because you saw their saw gunner there didn't need a command to reposition. He just saw. He's like, hey, the fight's moving. I need to go reposition myself to move with it and just did so independently. That's another move of either very experienced soldiers, uh, again, or special forces types. Okay, you can see here right now they're on the target and they're doing a quick target exploitation. Looking for intelligence, making sure that they have indeed uh, finished the enemy. Yep, that other dude's just being a... Well, you see, I say that like it's his fault. It's possible, for example, that there may have been a very last minute change that he is actually going to be the security element, not the assault element. It, 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 it's tough to know. All right, you can see they've checked it. And he is getting... And you could see they are off target, right? So the team is collapsing. The security is going to stay in place right until about they cross this little berm. And right there, their security should be collapsing in and they should be getting ready to withdraw. Yep, there's one of their security elements watching them. And away they go. Yep, that looks like... So yeah, that, that seems like maybe they were at maybe a 10 to 12 man team and they had about five doing the primary assault on the target. That's a pretty good ratio. Um, I imagine that probably they had everyone or almost everyone actually putting rounds down range and then they had a smaller sub-element become the assault. And you can see they are withdrawing from the target. Right? You might, all, what they're going to do is head to what's called a, um, an ORP, an objective rally point. Uh, that's going to be about 300 meters from this location. And that is where they're going to stop. They're going to say, hey, do we have everybody? Uh, do, does anybody need more or less ammo? They're going to redistribute ammo. They're going to check each other for casualties. They're going to just generally get out of here. Okay, so this is actually... Yeah, I think this is their commander actually being kind of in the rear and checking 
right? And that's what you, you want to do. In this episode? And that's what you want to do as a good commander, right? You want to make sure that the number one thing you don't want to do as a commander uh, is leave your guys. I mean, the number one thing you want to do is get the mission done, right? But the number two thing is don't leave your guys out hanging. Because also, if you don't have your people, you can't get the mission done, right? So like people act like it's one or the other. It's not, it's both. If it... Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this. I hope you guys really got some value out of that. Um, fingers crossed this can still be monetized. But as always, guys, if you want the real uncensored combat videos, check it out on the Patreon. Link is in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next one.